That must be the earthquake theater. I hope it's not like the hurricane room that Bianca and Catherine went to. Yeah. Treehouse detectives? That's us. Nice to meet you, Dr. Tang. I hear you're interested in experiencing an earthquake. Well, I don't know about that, but we do need to learn more about how experts measure the power of earthquakes. One such scale is called the Richter scale. It tells us the strength of an earthquake. Are there other scales that scientists use? Now scientists prefer a more precise scale called the moment magnitude scale. It's a number that tells us about the energy released from an earthquake. What's the number of our earthquake? Well, if it was a quake that people could feel, it must be at least a two. A moderate earthquake is about a five. Wasn't there a major earthquake here in San Francisco in 1906? What was its number? It was a 7.7, .7, but to understand what that means, you really ought to experience the earthquake. I'm not sure I want to do that. Don't worry, it's quite safe. We're going to be doing it here in the Earthquake Theater at the California Academy of Sciences. Don't forget to bring the camera. I got it. It seems so real. How do scientists know so much? Well, we looked at people's diaries and also had houses and churches that were damaged during the earthquake and also how the earthquake ruptured the ground around San Francisco during the time period. I guess observations are important. Your science journal might be valuable evidence one day. Yes, we'll take a look at this earthquake questionnaire. You'll see that even today, even with sophisticated instruments, scientists still depend on people's experiences to understand earthquakes. Wow, look at this. They want to know if it was difficult to stand or walk. And did objects rattle or fall off the shelf? Here's a simple question. What's your zip code? <laughs> Does it make a difference where you live? Yes, the effects of an earthquake vary greatly depending on how far away from the source you are. You mean the farther away you are, the less shaking you feel from a quake? Yes, but it also depends on what the ground is like. What does the ground have to do with it? Well, let's take a look at this gelatin. If I push on even a little bit, it jiggles a lot. And yet, if I take a rock, no matter how hard I push on it, it's not going to jiggle at all. I know where I would want to stand during an earthquake. Solid rock. That's right. Houses built on mud and sand don't do so well during an earthquake. Thanks, Dr. Tang. You're welcome.